Hi, it's Dwyer, GamblersAdvisory.com, DwyerVIP.com, on Roku, Dwyer Boxing, and Sports News. On iTunes, one word, Dwyer Boxing News. Remember, the opinion you should follow should be your own. Just consider this video to be a second opinion from a complete stranger online. Let's talk about football teasers for week six of the NFL's uh, 2014 season. First, let me uh, give a pub for another uh, YouTube uh, channel that talks about teasers. Uh, they're called Sports Betters TV. Right? Again, it's Sports Betters TV. You want to look them up. If you're a Roku user, I have a Roku private channel. It's free. The vanity code is Dwyer Sports Betting, and you'll see that I actually link to a few other touts who are giving insight on sports, including uh, Sports Betters TV. Well, anyway, let's talk about teasers. It's Friday. Understand information comes out during the week and the situation is fluid. You know the way a teaser works. The casino dares you to take teams. They're willing to give you extra points. The catch, though, is you have to pick extra games, and it's an all or nothing. In other words, if you don't hit on every game, you lose the teaser. Depending on the casino you're in, some will give you six points latitude per game. Others will give you seven points latitude per game. If you're lucky, you might get more than that. If you're willing to take three or more games, Casinos will sometimes give you 10 points latitude, right? Um, especially if it's an online casino with low overhead. Well, understand not all games are teasable. I'm someone who really believes that the way to tease football games, first of all, is to structure the bet so that you're only dealing with two game teasers. Right? I don't fool around with more than two game teasers, right? Because that third game, if it blows up on you, you lose the whole thing, right? Your odds of winning increase dramatically if you limit the number of games to two games, right? Now, with that in mind, here are the lines that have caught my eye this weekend. These are not premium picks, I have a different package up at DwyerSportsBetting.com, right? These are the games that I think are teasable. Right, the first game, and understand there's risk involved. This is gambling, right? You need to be able to sleep at night. Um, the first game, the Jets at home are actually nine point underdogs to the Denver Broncos, right? Keep in mind, this is the same Jet team that almost beat the Green Bay Packers. This is the same Jet team that has Chris Ivory, a pretty good running back, an above average running back. And keep in mind, Ivory's the kind of guy who, if the Jets get a lead, he can eat up the clock. Well, understand, with the teaser, that takes you by key betting numbers like 10 and 14. If you add 7 to the Jets plus 9, you're getting the Jets plus 16 against the Denver Broncos. Right? Now, understand, 16 points equals 3 scores. Right? If the Broncos were to win by 16 points, <clears throat> they would have to have two touchdowns and a field goal. I guess conceivably they could have two touchdowns and two two-point conversions as an advantage. I think Jets plus 16 is a teasable position. I don't think the Broncos, as good as they are in the snow huddle league, with Emmanuel Sanders, I don't think the Broncos cover 16 over the Jets, right? So, to me, the Jets plus 16 is a teasable play. Another teasable play can be found, in my opinion, in the Atlanta Falcon-Chicago Bear game. Understand, Atlanta right now is a three-point favorite. If you're able to tease the play, you'd be able to get Atlanta plus four. Right? Well, what I want you to do is to look at Matt Ryan's record at home. It's exemplary. Also, what I want you to do is to look at Atlanta's offensive performance this year. They have one of the top offenses in the National Football League. 
right? Keep in mind, too, if you tease Atlanta and get the seven, right, then that means Atlanta would be a plus four at home. That gets you by that three-point key number, right? You know, Atlanta could lose by a field goal, and you're still good on Atlanta plus four. Right, so I think Atlanta plus four over the Bears is a teasable position. Finally, I like Seattle, which is favored by eight over the Cowboys. If you tease them down seven, I like Seattle minus one over Dallas. Understand Seattle has a huge home field advantage. They're one of the league's very best teams at home, right? Understand, too, that Dallas statistically is not as good as Seattle, either offensively or defensively, right? Seattle here, on a tease, you would only be laying one point. I think that's a teasable position. Let's talk about one more. And as I said before, what you want to do is to limit your teaser to just two games. Right? I wouldn't stretch it out. Right? Stretching it out has built these casinos. One more game I like. I believe the Baltimore Ravens are underrated. Right? If you look at them statistically and break it down, quite frankly, you're going to find that Baltimore is above average both offensively and defensively, right? Steve Smith is clearly a Hall of Famer who still is on his game. Torrey Smith hasn't even been fully integrated into that offense of yet, right? Joe Flacco is one of the rare quarterbacks who seems to have ice water in his veins. He's able to win on the road, right? Keep in mind, Flacco has been able to win on the road even in the playoffs. Now, right now, Baltimore is favored by three and a half over the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, right? If you are able to tee seven points, understand Baltimore would get three and a half points. In other words, Baltimore could lose by a field goal to Tampa, and you would still win this portion of your teaser, right? I know Tampa has shown signs of life of late. Understand they're still in transition, right? Tampa is a team that, you know, recently made a change at quarterback. I understand Mike Glennon is an upgrade, but still, I take Joe Flacco over Mike Glennon. If you look at these teams statistically, Tampa is inferior to Baltimore, both offensively and defensively right as well as in their special teams right i think baltimore needs this victory to keep pace with the other teams in its division right i like the continuity in baltimore with john harbaugh over the newness of lovey smith in tampa right so another play i would consider teasing would be baltimore take them from a three and a half point favorite make them a three and a half point dog against Tampa. Let me point out that if you're in a sports book that only teases six points and not seven points, right? Then you want to stay away from any play where you're not getting a field goal, right? Unless it's Seattle in Seattle. Okay, if you can think of other plays to tease, I hope you leave them here in the comment section to this video. Let's help as many gamblers as we can. A word of caution. You need to look carefully at the injury report, right? Earlier in the week, the early birds, and I was one of them, when I filled out a teaser card, I had Cincinnati over Carolina. Right At that time, though, we didn't know that A.J. Green is going to be out this weekend. That's a concern. Right, That's a big concern. To me, that changes things. 
and makes that game dangerous, right? I know there are guys I follow who believe that you should make Cincinnati over Carolina an anchor play on a teaser card, right? In other words, you know, you have several different teasers, but this game should be in each of them. I disagree because of the A.J. Green injury and because of his impact on this offense, right? Understand Cincinnati's rushing attack was stopped by New England in their last game. It was stopped, right? Cincinnati's not dominant rushing the football. Now here, you're taking away one of their key receivers, allowing defenses to focus even more on that rushing attack. Also understand the jury is still out on Andy Dalton, right? There are those who call him the Red Rifle, who love his winning percentage and who love his ability to play on the road. But there are skeptics who point out that he has been ineffective in the playoffs, that he doesn't have a great arm, and that question his output given the high level of receiver that he's had to work with, right? So for this week anyway, given the newness of A.J. Green's injury, given that he played against New England and might not, according to reports, play this week, against Carolina, and given that Carolina played inspired football last week, right? Greg Cosell online this week is talking about how Cam Newton has improved as a quarterback. Given these dynamics, and given that I believe Carolina's defense is better than the stats indicate, I'm staying away at this point from Cincinnati versus Carolina as a teaser play. Let me hear from you. Leave your comments for me here online. Visit us at gamblersadvisory.com. Thanks for stopping by.